Let's go to John. John chapter 3. Let's commence from verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. <laughs> Congregation, are we together? John chapter 3, verse 14. The word of God says, As Moses lifted up the bronze serpent in the wilderness, he said that is how Christians, that is how Jesus is lifted unto us. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. That is how the name of Jesus, who is a strong tower, that is how the name is lifted to us, we, the Christians. So, those that are watching us all over the world, I am charging you now that put your mind in order because the church we are seeing is mindset. It's what? Mindset. Because the word of God says a time is coming. Two women will be in the same meal. One will be taken. One will be what? Be left. Why? Because of their mindset. So, the poison that will kill, the disease that will kill a believer, it cannot kill believer. Are you hearing me? The arrow that will kill a believer, that arrow cannot kill a believer. There's a big difference. Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. I will say, I claim it. I claim it. I will say, I believe. And this sign, this sign shall follow them that what? That, that believe. believe. I must say, I believe. I believe. Yes. In my name. In my name. Shall they cast out devils? They will cast out devils. devils. Hello? You know, I made a statement. There is something that is contaminated. Whereby you can catch the virus from there. Since you are a Christian, you touch it. Nothing happens. Are you hearing me? As you touch it, not just what? Nothing happened. The meat you went about in the market, not knowing it contains the virus, but as you buy it in the name of Jesus, eat the meat, nothing will happen. The vegetable you bought in the market, people don't understand. Hello? Hello. Contaminated. Be that you are a child of God. As you touch it, because the word of God says, signs and wonder shall follow them. That word, that belief. As you touch them, my brother, there is automatic solution. Power will nullify it. Are you hearing me? If power will nullify it, go and eat it. Read on. They shall speak with new tongues. I must say new tongues. new tongues. They shall speak with what? With new tongues. God is telling me and you that we the Christians with his followers we have a protection. Divine protection. Divine protection. Yes? They shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them. They shall pick up serpents it will not hurt them. Deadly poison. I must say deadly poison. Deadly poisons. Deadly poisons. It shall not hurt them. Deadly poisons. Yes. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will do what? Recover. Brethren, brethren, put your faith in order. Put your faith in what? In order. Psalm 91. He said, 1,000 by this side, 10,000. He said, it is only your ears and your eyes you will use to see. It will not come to your tent because you are under protection. So, the church is not a ceremonial place. The church is not a social gathering. It's a place of solution. The church belongs to, belong to another government. The government is from above. It's the one controlling the church. Until you put your mindset on that, then you will not know that really something is happening. So, advise us at this time, don't compare yourself with unbelievers. Don't compare yourself with unbelievers. Righteousness is power. Righteousness is what? Righteousness is a defense. It's a defense. Heavenly Father, as many that will watch the broadcast or this divine service, those that are afraid before, whatever fear they are entertaining, I 
as you listen to this divine preaching and you keep to it may your fear turn to freedom and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ even those that are already suffering of this virus or any other disease there are so many diseases killing people Father, those that are caged with different, different kind of diseases, including the virus, as they are hearing me, if they believe and key to what I'm saying, may they be delivered and healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I release anointing of solution over my listeners, over my congregation, 